Hey, this is uh, Russ Edgar from uh, Avion Overlander. Going to give you a little shot of the trailer as I walk around to what I want to show you today. Some time ago, several years, we took out our air conditioner on the top. We, it was working fine, very noisy, and we replaced it with a Max Air fan, which we use and love. However, to cool the, air, the trailer, the Avion, we did this. I'll pan up. What you're seeing is a cover over the front window, because we took away the plastic one that was there originally. Lynn made the cover, and you see a cover over a mini-split air conditioner. When we get to a campground, we simply unhook or unsnap three snaps on the bottom of it. And then we simply remove the cover. We put it inside the truck. And what you see is a Pioneer 12,000 BTU mini split air conditioner. We've used it lots of times. Uh, the air conditioner is on a frame that sets where the old battery box was on the original trailer frame before I adapted it. It is extremely sturdy. This all frame and everything has been uh, uh, poor 15. I just went and got some uh, items from Lowe's and then I have a place in Kansas City that I get my aluminum from. This is showing you the top attachment that holds the, AV, uh, the air conditioner on. I use the hardware from the old protective plastic shield. The two copper are wrapped, copper hoses are wrapped that go inside the Avion. After I put the Pioneer wrap on these cable or hoses, copper hoses, copper pipe, I wrap them with Gorilla Tape just to make sure they're more durable. I drilled a hole in the Avion, as you can see. It's got a sleeve in there that keeps everything in good shape on this side and one on the other side. And then the unoccupied space that's in the hole is filled with a, uh, actually it's a caulk from uh, Pioneer. I used what they had sent me and it works great. I'll move around a little bit so you can see the framework hooking onto the battery holder comes up, has some supports, electric or a uh, aluminum frame to hold that. If you can see carefully there, it has uh, insulators to keep the vibration very low. We have never had a drop of trouble with this. It has worked great. We heated the trailer at 22 degrees in Colorado on the generator, uh, and we were delighted that it worked. I've come around to the driver's side now, and I wanted to show you. This has simply been wired so that I can plug it in to the generator on a cable. Or I can run the cable around to the back side of this Avion and it has an exterior outlet. And I can plug into the Avion 
if we're plugged in someplace, like we recently were in Mississippi, and I can power, or actually down there, we were heating the Avion with the electric from the RV park, which made sense to us. Uh, I guess uh, we're inside the Avion now. I'll do a little panoramic so you get a feel of what it's like in here. It's an absolutely lovely RV to travel in. There's the Ella Cat's litter box. And the important part that we came in to see was the inside unit of the Pioneer Mini Split. This is part that heats and cools. You see that Lynn made a lovely frame for it that is it attached to, and the frame itself is attached to the trailer at the top and the bottom. The frame is made of red oak. Go on around so you can see the rest of it in the front, and then I'll pan around. This unit will heat this trailer if we're hooked up. It will heat or cool this trailer if we're using our Honda 2000 generator. The unit is not attached to the trailer in terms of electric. It's on a cord so that I can do those two items. Thanks for watching. If you have time, I'd really appreciate a, a thumbs up and a subscribe. Be safe out there.